Jason Grubb defended his title in the 45 to 49 year old division. It's his third straight gold medal. He also won the 40 to 44 year old age group in 2019. Grubb finished 70 points ahead of second place Mike Kern. Grubb rattled off five straight wins at one point and he never finished lower than fifth in an event. We're about to head out for the first workout of day three, and I'm feeling pretty beat up, actually. Really sore. I did something in the squat clean workout that made my back a little angry. Today's work is very back intensive, so I did a really solid warm up. I think I'm ready to go. I'm in day three, I'm in first place, and got three big battles to go. I'm excited, nervous, so and excited. Good. It feels so good, it feels so good. Oh, my, my, gonna make my move. I'm all in, got nothing to lose. And it's Jason Grubb with 460 points. He has just a 20 point lead over Mike Kern. Guys, I'm in the process of editing this video and I just wanted to share one thing. I am gonna leave all of Bill Grundler's commentary in on this workout. So it'll be a little bit of a longer segment, but I have actually never had an announcer read my mind the way that he reads my mind in this workout. Almost everything he says in the commentary for this workout is what I was thinking on the field. It's peculiar and it's amazing because he is an athlete himself. He knows what it's like for us Masters athletes out there to compete. He's been calling the shots for years and years and years, and I just thought it would be really fun to share his thoughts in this workout because this is exactly what I was thinking when I was on the field. And while I'm thinking about it, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button real quick. Thanks for supporting this channel. I appreciate you guys. Well, your stronger athletes are able to lob that up on their shoulders and even the upper part of their back and just hang on to it. Few of them carrying the traditional way on the wraparound. Looks like Kern got across, tossing it over his shoulder. Oh, dang it, Jason Grubbs had to come back, so he tried to basically dump that out in front before he dropped it with his feet across. Now again, it's early. We got a lot of activity to go. We got 90 reps, well, 50 reps in this first round uh, to deal with, so it's not a big deal, but it definitely changes your mental status. Running and tripping, it's like you're fine, but then all of a sudden you're not fine. So you have to get back in the mode. One of the things that Jason has to his advantage is he is, well, not only just a two-time champ, but he's a consummate competitor. He's been out here before. He's had things go well and things, things not go so well, and he knows how to handle that and just kind of take it with stride. Meanwhile, let's go back to lane 15, and Jason Grubb puts his shoulders into it. But again, as we've talked about, we, we first saw this technique in team competition a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. And this is, I mean, this is, they've just blasted their legs up. They've done half of Karen. They've done, not, well, almost two-thirds of Karen now. You know what? I like what Jason is doing as far as how he is deciding to push a, a little bit. He's got the lead. So he's out there, push, 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 rest. Push, 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 rest. And honestly, I think that this weight is so heavy for these athletes, and they're so irritated by it that if you look at the guys in the back, they're all following the exact same way that Jason is. So this is what so uh, this right here will mess with all of the other athletes, my current included, is that Jason goes right to work and, you know, Mike comes over and it's like, ah, crap, he's already started the reps, he's already into it, and when someone's doing wall balls and you're, or, you know, your legs are screaming from the, from the sled, it's hard to think that you're doing okay. You know, it's hard to think that, how am I gonna catch up? There's no way. Uh, but Jason just looks so cool, calm, and collected. Uh, Mike Kern's got some work to do. Well, it's such a mental game because whether it's a competition here at your box and your buddy gets in just ahead of you, you don't see what he did, and you right. come, you come right in. He may have only done five wall balls, right. but you think, well, he's done 20. And, right. and if you're in the lead, an important thing is for the mental game, hey, even if I throw five wall balls up, to them it looks like I may be halfway through. I mean, you're playing mental games with the other athlete. And that was Novelli and McAdam going at it. Here we go. Grubb's going to throw it up on the shoulders and get it on the upper part of that back. Now, again, that's such a weird-shaped object. You don't feel that it's sliding anywhere. And I think that's what Jason did here. He's just like, okay, my hands are up. It's not going to move. I'm just going to keep on moving until I get to the end, and then I can dump it. The nice thing for Grubbs is he's walking back, and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm resting. I'm recovering. Mike, you're working, so uh, do your thing, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and take my nice leisurely stroll and relax. Sitting in the background, there's Grubb. He can just take his time, grab some chalk, make the walk. Yeah, he just looks incredible the way he's been able to jump out in front. And it's one of those events where, you know, once you once you break the other athletes, you don't have to worry about them anymore. They're not going to push you. They, then they start thinking, okay, well, second place is all right. Third place is okay. 
And, you know, it takes all the pressure off of Jason. He doesn't have anyone pressuring him right now. He's just like, okay, just finish. Work out. Just, I'm just going to work out this. Let me get through this event, kind of manage myself, manage where everyone else is, knowing that I have, you know, a couple more events uh, today on this last day to see if he can, you know, see if he can get that third time champ. Yeah. You know, it's a, big, it's a big spot to get. But look at that. Nice, easy, relaxed walk down. Gets right to the wall balls because this is going to be the last set before he goes into that sled. And we saw how obnoxiously difficult and heavy the sled was the last time when they had to push it down. Finishes up his last 10 wall balls. Now it's 168 feet away from finishing the event. He's going to have 100 points locked up regardless. But he's got you know, a little under two and a half minutes. Like if you're going to win the event, you want to finish the event. Oh, absolutely. And he looks really good as far as how his legs are driving. Again, you know, we talked about the positioning, but what I'm looking at is fatigue in his legs, and that was good. He sets up small goals for himself. First line, just going to keep on going to get to that line. And then he can assess, okay, what do I need to do after that? Meaning, where is Mike Kern? Is he coming up on me? Uh, is there anyone else I have to be worried about? Or can I just start taking, you know, five steps at a time, take a break, five steps at a time, take a break, whatever he needs to do. See if he's trying to go away. See, he's looking yeah. back. He just yeah. be, being very aware. And that's, that's, a, that's experience on the floor. Now for Mike Kern, you can see him driving right behind Jason Grubb there. Jason taking that nice big walk, trying to mellow out those legs. I mean, it's a massive leg pump, quad pump, glutes are just just firing, hamstrings are burning. Well, I mean, if you're waving your hand like yeah. that, it's like, is that for me to go or is that for the sled to go? Oh, he's fanning him off. <laughs> He'll get in under the cap. Only athlete in this seat. 100 points for Jason Grubb, and he can start thinking about Trying to finish off two more events. His lead increases. It was a 20-point lead. It's up to 30 now on Mike Kern. So he's still got a fight on his hand for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> Jason Grubb, I tell you, from the start to finish, the only athlete of this entire field to finish it. And just so much power, so much grit. And we said we talked about what this event was. You just had to do work and endure some pain. And that's exactly what Jason did. Great finish for him. Hell yeah. Event seven. I won it. I wasn't sure if I could win that one. That's great. Really, really good. Pretty sure Mike Kern got second. The guy is relentless. Two more events. Two more events. Time to recover, cool down a lot. No ice bath for me. It's too much of a shock, but just walking and cooling down. That's the plan right now. All right, one of the coolest things about CrossFit Games is there are red shirts everywhere. And on days like this where it's just blazing hot, like you can just push it because these guys will save you right here. They're around all the time. What's it like being out here? Well, it's a great time. We're just glad we can come out here and help everybody. And uh, whatever, you know, with anybody needs, make sure nobody gets hurt. You know, that's the main thing. It's like y'all are here to have a uh, compete work hard and we want to be able to show y'all can continue that all weekend. Absolutely, I'll double what he said. You guys put in the work all year long. We put in the work out here to support you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks guys. Thank you. Walking back, event six. Ooh, that was good. I was just texting my buddy Zach, who I trained with for the past couple of months. All our hard work paid off. Wall balls, sandbags, jumping over things, rowing intervals, ski intervals, running, track workouts, just killing ourselves. In training, eating, sleeping, having such a focus on getting ready for this. All that has paid off, like today's workout so far, event number six. It was so hot, it was so hard. I wanted to finish, I had to finish in those last few seconds in order to get a score, a finished score. I was the only one to finish that workout in my group. I needed that. I may have been in the tie if I didn't get that last little bit done, because I think Kern got over a line, I don't know, but I needed to finish, I finished. Now it's time to recover, go swim. It's good, it's really good. Hang out here for, I think about 10 minutes actually. And uh, yeah, yeah, this will work. So this is a bit of a reset to the central nervous system. It feels good. It's really refreshing. Just a nice way to get, I think, you know, just get my body temperature cooled down. Body feeling good, body reset. It's good stuff, totally worth it.
Break the rules, can't stay on beat. Making moves, running through the streets. A to Z, follow my lead. Saints, status quo, this is rock and roll. This is how I get on the ride of This is bye bye, ta ta, audio. This is all or none, this is all I know. This that I don't know, we try and go. I don't even know, I'm just trying to roll. Me and my friends try and hit the road. Try and catch a wave, gotta see my soul. Thought I was gone, but I'm back. Why was on the attack? Got no time to relax. Let's go, Pronto, ASAP. Thank you, watch my moves. Add a theater near you. What you gotta do, just break out. So everybody break out. Your champ, three time champ. Thank you. First place, Jason Grubb. up after the games it's really funny it just it's this huge eruption it's the most amazing thing and then the next day it's done it's over is it worth it yes it gives me something to go for every year it gives me some goal to chase after a big project to work on something to keep me engaged i love the games i hope i have the opportunity the privilege to come back and do this again next year This whole series is presented by Mayhem Athlete. I've followed Mayhem for about two years and it has over-prepared me for competition. The team at Mayhem Masters putting together the programming are absolutely top-notch. Their breadth of knowledge, their breadth of experience is huge and they do make it manageable for Masters athletes. We're not doing what 20 year olds are doing. We're doing what we're supposed to do in our own age categories. I love training hard and Mayhem Masters has helped me do some pretty dang amazing things over the past couple of years. Be sure to check out the link below. You can sign up for Mayhem Masters, use the code JASON to save 20% for life, and get training. I'll see you on the leaderboard in Mayhem Athlete.